trip that I rode the Transamerica Trail from Idaho to Oregon that night. So I completed 100% of the or not I, I completed 100% of the Transamerica Trail because I ridden it from Tennessee to Idaho and I just rode it from Idaho to Oregon. On um, this bike right here it has all this stuff on it right now. So the DR650. So you see that you see this bike in a lot of my videos when I'm working in the garage. And you probably never see me ride it, <laughs> but I, I ride it every once in a while when I go in venture riding, and I rode the piss out of it. Okay, so that's my little intro. But anyway, so this video is a Suron, another Suron Light B video, and uh, it's on these two items right here. Okay, so this is a little project that Hades Omegas has. Um, so one of Hades Omegas goals I'm thinking is I want to ride the Rubicon, and I want to ride it. Um, the whole Rubicon on my Suron Light B. Now, I, I attempted it, and I was really, I, I was almost able to ride half of it, and then I had to turn back because I didn't have enough charge. Okay? But, uh, it's kind of iffy whether you would make it to the, uh, the other end, you know, and then it's like, what are you going to do? But, uh, so this is what, this is what Hades Omega's plan is, so. So Jeep, has this new uh, has this new Jeep that's like a hybrid plug-in Jeep, okay? And I he's make it learn that their Jeep is installing these solar-powered uh, EV chargers on the Rubicon, uh, one at Rubicon Springs. So that's about the halfway point of a Rubicon, I guess, if you're going from Loon Lake or something. Um, and Hades Omega rode the Suron Light B to there was like I think it was called Spider Lake. That's as far as I got. That's about eight or nine miles into the Rubicon. It is, it, I'm telling you, it is slow going. You could probably hike faster, you know, than, than you could ride, maybe. It's, the Rubicon is a nasty, nasty rock crawling trail, okay? It's not for dirt bikes, it's for rock crawlers, you know, and stuff like that. But you can do it on a dirt bike, you know, especially one as light as the Sauron might be. But anyway, so that's my plan. My plan is to utilize those, uh, EV chargers at Rubicon Springs, okay? And how's he gonna do that? Well, he's gonna has to have some way to charge his bike. He has to carry some kind of charging equipment on him, okay? And that's where these puppies come in. All right, so let's start with this one, since this one is kind of wrapped up. Okay, I got this from EVS EVSEadapters.com. If you guys don't know what an EVSE is, I'll put a, I'll put a subtitle below what EVSE stands for. But it is kind of like a, it's like a kind of power supply plug for your, for your uh, electronic vehicle, okay? Your EV, your, your electric vehicle. Um, basically, what it does is it provides power to the controller on that's on board your vehicle, okay? So my my Victory Impulse TT has a uh, a J1772 plug on it, and you can plug the from a charging station, you could plug it into that J plug, and then the onboard charger will charge the battery. Okay, so the Light B doesn't have anything like that, so you got to carry your own charger. Okay, and we're going to use this doohickey to do it. Okay, so what this is is an EVSC adapter. So what it is. So okay, like I mentioned from EVSCadapters.com. So ah, okay, there we go. So. It doesn't even say where. I'm pretty sure it came from a website called EVSC Adapters, okay? And this is what this is, so let's... I will kind of just do the unboxing right here, and then we'll take a closer look at it on my washing machine in a bit, okay? But bam, there it is. Okay? This is an adapter. This is a J-plug adapter, okay? So that's a J1772 port, okay? 
okay? You would plug your charger into that port. And then supposedly there's a circuit in here that kind of tells the, uh, the EVSE, okay? Or the, um, the charger, the, the EV charger, it sends a signal to it saying, hey, uh, I got something connected here, can I get some power? Okay, and the interesting thing to note about uh, uh, J1772 and the you know, charging infrastructure, it only outputs 220 volts, so you need a 220 volt charger. So that's where this bad boy comes in, okay? But anyway, uh, we'll take a look, closer look at this later. So, like I said, so basically this allows you to use power from a public charging station, a public EV, EVSC, okay? Um, and you plug the J-plug into here, and then it provides 220 volt power right here, okay? Got that? So this, we, this is one important component we need because we don't have one of these on the bike, okay? But also, this will let you use any public charger if you have your own charger with you. So, um, so you could, so I could charge this. I could charge my bike on the road. Okay. All right. So we'll take a closer look at that in a minute, and then we'll go take this one out of the box. All right now. If I can. So as you can see, it's been made in China. <laughs> Ordered in uh, China. Um, oh yeah, I have to go over how much all these are. Uh, let's just unbox this first. Oh my God! It's not even a. It's like it's like they just made it. It's custom, it's like a custom made charger. <laughs> um, they actually the the store that sells this actually asked t told me like, hey, this only works with 220 volts. Is that okay? I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But um, so the reason I bought this is this like a dual volt. It was dual volt dual voltage. It was a 110 and a 220. And then they, they sent me a message saying, hey, no, this is only 220. And I'm like, uh, is that, and they're asking, asking me, is that fine? I'm like, well, it would be nice if it was both, but I, you know, I really only need the 220 because I need to charge this off of public charging. This is my, the charger that I use for public charging stations, okay? Ah, oh, there it is, okay. So it is a, uh, it's a box within the box. <laughs> there it is the charger so I can't eat I cannot read Chinese by the way but it says 10 a there that must mean it's 10 amps so this will this will charge your battery about the same speed as uh, the stock charger will let it probably charge it faster 10 amps because 10 amps times 80 84 volts right that's that's a lot more watts so okay. um, all right let's well let's go take it over to the the washer and then we'll see um we'll get a closer look at all these goodies okay all right here we go okay haha -ha. so uh, so you must be wondering where Hades Omega got this stuff and how much he got it for okay so here it is wha bam all right Ali Express all right Ali Express and that's the charger right there. It's a 72 volt, 10 amp charger, 87.6 volts. It's a 24S LiPo, or 84 volts, 10 amps, lithium ion, 21S, 24. It's kind of odd. It should be 84 volts. So, properties, color. So, I chose the 20S option. There's some different options you can choose. You can choose what socket standard you want. We use the US socket I hope it's the right one and it's it's actually sold by a store called Shenzhen post cell battery store okay um, it's like a store within uh, AliExpress so that's where I got it from okay I will put a link in the description of the charger I ordered it doesn't have any reviews on it so I don't know how good it is um, the reason I bought this is because it's very small and lightweight and it outputs 10 amps. Now, if I could, if I could do like 15 amps or 20 amps, I could. But the charger is like huge. It's literally, it's probably like the size of this box. I'd imagine the charger is much smaller. This is, I bought this because it's it's a uh, lightweight and small because you're going to be carrying it with you uh, on your person or on the bike somewhere. So, 
um, I will probably be carrying it in the backpack. Okay. All right, and then we'll I'll go over how where and how where I got the EVSC adapter and how much. Oh, I forgot to go over how much I bought it for. Um, I bought it for. It's eighty nine seventy five. Okay. Eighty nine seventy five. And with the tax and the shipping, I oh, freaking what tax? Come on, 102.84 is how much the charger cost me um, with the shipping and all that stuff. But it was 89 dollars. Okay, uh, might be might cost less or more depending on where you live. Okay, um, okay. Let's go over to EVC adapter. Okay, so there it is. That's the website I bought it off of. It's EVSC adapters. Dot com okay charge anywhere there you go they're having a sale on it it's for two it's so it says right there 220 volt applications only please read caution below so hopefully this charger is 220 volts okay so there's the unit right there it's a j1772 to nema 515-520 ev charger adapter for e-bike scooter one wheel etc it's on sale for 85 bucks right now okay I think it was a hundred dollars shipped to me they have 93 in stock so they got plenty in stock go in order and this is some a description right here uh, we can read it with our new j1772 EV adapter you can now charge your e-bike electric scooter hover wheel or nearly any personal electric vehicle at all public j1772 charging stations even if you don't have a J1772 inlet on your vehicle. You can also power nearly anything else that has a standard electrical plug as long as it also operates at 240 volts. This adapter works by using a specially designed circuit inside the plug that basically tricks the charging station into thinking a vehicle is connected and ready to charge. So basically it just it provides it, it tricks it to provide you 220 volt power. It features a J1772 inlet and standard NEMA 520 style receptacle, which can accommodate devices having either a NEMA 515 or a NEMA 520 plugs. That's essentially all devices sold in US and Canada. This adapter has been tested with Vespa Electrica and is compatible with this vehicle. Okay. So that's some info on this guy. So I think it was about $100. Both of these items were a hundred dollars, so it's like this is like two hundred dollars worth of goodies right here. Okay, not cheap. That's the plug right there. Okay, it looks very similar to what you would use a, a standard U.S. plug. Okay, it looks like it has a Duo Cita um, J plug. All right, I do have a Duo Cita charger. It doesn't say it is, but it is. Um, and then I guess the little circuit little pilot signal circuit is in here okay and then they got all that stuff there so pretty neat device I don't know if uh, I'll be using it for anything else other than charging the light B so all right let's go open this bad boy okay so hopefully this is the right one they sent me a message saying like hey this only works on 220 so they, they messed up the website oh yeah there's an instruction menu Let's go check this out real quick. Okay, adapter instructions. Thank you for purchasing J1772 charging station adapter from EVSCadapters.com. With this adapter, you can use many electric scooter, moped, and bicycle chargers at J1772 electric vehicle charging stations. Note that most charging stations supply 208 to 240 volts power with ground, which is what you'll get from the adapter. It does not perform any power conversion. Okay, so if you plug something in, you better make sure it's rated for 220 volts. In America, we don't really use 220 volts for your normal appliances, okay? Before using, make sure that your electric vehicle charger or appliance is capable of operating at 240 volts. There you go. Okay, failure to do so may damage your device. To begin, make sure the power switch is in the off position. Plug in the charging station's J1772 handle to the adapter. Okay, plug in your electric vehicle charger or compatible appliance. When finished, turn off the appliance or charger, then unplug. Okay, so pretty, pretty basic stuff. Okay, just plug it in, and then it should start working. Okay. All right, let's check this charger out. I haven't seen it yet. Ooh, it's a little, it's a little bigger than I, 
I anticipated, but I think that's that'll that'll work just fine. So there you go. It's 220 volts. It's rated for 72 volts at 10 amps. Um, I'd imagine it should be charging at 84. Okay, but there it is. It's got a it's got a fan here. It's got a black case, black aluminum case, made in China, everywhere on it. This was actually made, I guess that this must be the date they made it, September 2020. So they pretty much made this to order, I think. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. That doesn't have a ground on it. I thought it's going to supposed to have a three plug neatly. Okay, and it has this adapter for a XT60 connector. Okay. So this is going to plug into my uh, light speed battery. Okay. So yeah, this is for my light speed battery, by the way. You cannot use this for the stock surround charger. You need a 60 volt charger. So um, This is the wrong plug. They gave me the wrong plug. Hopefully it works. It says it's rated for 250 volts. Hopefully it'll work without a ground. <laughs> okay. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go try it out. 